Am I the asshole? For telling my parents that if they won't tell me the truth, I'll assume the worst of them. So my family totally exploded while I was on spring break two weeks ago. I went on a trip with my grandparents and came back to my mom moved out and a serious sit down talk about them divorcing. It's not exactly a surprise because they've both been acting weird and shady for a while but like that's not what I was expecting to come back to and they could have let me unpack first at least. They asked me if I had any questions and I asked them which one cheated because that was my first thought. They got super uncomfortable and said that the reasons between them were private. I said not when it means I suddenly lost my family over it and they owe me at least some reason that this is happening and we don't love each other anymore doesn't cut it. You don't just stop loving someone for no reason that's dumb, so what? They said that was all I needed to know and we need to talk about how the living situation was going to work and everything. I told them that I don't want to live with either of them if they're going to be like that. Everyone has been mad since then and my mom came over to talk it out last night. They still don't want to tell me why. I told them both that if they were going to hide stuff, I'll just make up my own worst case and go with that. Since mom left, it can all be her fault. Since it's her fault, I won't live with her or go see her. She got upset and said that was unfair and it wasn't her fault. I told her to give me the real reason then or just deal with it. My dad said I was out of line and I said that it can all be his fault then and same deal. That started an argument between the two of them, but I'm holding my own. Pretty sure at least one of them will crack and tell me what happened soon so I can decide how I feel about it. I don't need like graphic details but a simple someone cheated or mom is a secret lesbian, don't tell anyone or we've both really changed a lot and don't want the same things would help. If one of them did something bad I want to know. If they won't own up or explain why there are no bad guys, they can both be the bad guy. I had to talk to my school counselor today and she said that it's totally understandable but playing them against each other is going to hurt everyone so am I the asshole? Edit, okay I'm TA. That's okay. I did some digging on my own tonight and I know pretty much what happened now. I don't feel bad about being an R to ours. Thanks. After reading the comments, I wish people would pump the brakes a little. She is 14 and still learning how to deal with her emotions. Show some compassion for Christ salespeople. I seem to be in the minority here, but not the asshole. When I got divorced, I answered all questions my daughter had. I felt that she had the right to have answers to questions she had about why her life was drastically changing. Her world is falling apart. Doesn't she deserve to know why? Not the asshole. What if the reason is that one of them is no longer satisfied sexually? Would you really want them to be honest with you? You're really focused on knowing the details but at the end of the day they could be a highly highly personal and not appropriate to share with a child and b won't change anything even if you know do you think you can convince them to stay together if you know why are splitting up honestly opi was in the same situation as you it did help me to know what happened and why i didn't blame my mother for cheating as she wasn't satisfied in the relationship and wanted another child my father didn't it gave me peace of mind not feeling left out of such a big thing as a child. I was in therapy so it also helped to be able to talk through that with my therapist I really hope. You get the outcome you need. I am sending love and support your way growing heart. Not the asshole. It's your family too. You're not just some pawn. You deserve closure from the dissolution of your family unit. I would absolutely talk to the therapist and let them know the silence is hurting you and that you feel that you can't trust your parents unless you have some knowledge of what's going on. Be flexible and a bit more willing to compromise on how much they share. But I get how you feel. I really do. Good luck op. Revolving hearts. It's so weird how half of posts like this. People say cheaters deserve what they get and how the kids' lives were destroyed and they deserve the truth even if it means NC and half are like this one.
shield the child. Don't tell them the truth because they're too young and or it's none of their business. It's fascinating to see the differences and the reactions. Reddit is like one massive social experiment when looked at a certain way. Not the asshole anyone who is treating you like you are is being ridiculous. You are plenty old enough to know why they are breaking up. They are doing you a disservice by not telling you. Anyone calling you ta is severely out of touch. This is essentially telling you suck it up kid it's happening because we say so. Your entire life has been flipped upside down but they're too selfish to tell you why. If I had not know why my parents split up it would have been way harder to process. You're the asshole but you're clearly just a kid who desperately needs therapy to process and understand this and navigate what it means. Your parents are doing a great job handling the divorce thus far. So I hope they continue to do great and get you into therapy ASAP. If they're on top of things. They were looking into this before they even announced their divorce. Your family is breaking up. So you're spiraling. Just a heads up. People absolutely do outgrow each other or stop loving each other in that matter without it being. Something significant happening. Sounds like your parents are attempting to protect you. And find the best way to co-parent. Do you think you're looking for fault in one person? so that you can direct all your anger feelings towards that one person. So you don't have to deal with your feeling about being sad your family has broken up. No, you are not. It sounds like you are trying to understand what could be so insurmountable to make them unable to cohabitate, but they are not sharing enough details to make you feel safe confident in choosing which parent to align with. I hope they share more information so you feel empowered to choose the best parent to live with and have as your primary caregiver. I'm sorry this happened. Y'all are seriously calling a 14 kid whose mom moved out when she was on vacation in awe because she wants to know why and isn't satisfied with them's the breaks are you mad? Does she need to know a line by line? Maybe not but to just kinda sweep this under the rug of well she's a kid is nonsense. Her world was upended in the span of two weeks regardless of her suspicions and it's a very valid response. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. A rare case where I'm not with the majority. Strange. I do believe OP has a right to demand Anwar's why her life is being drastically changed. Also if one of the parents did something bad, which we don't know, she totally has the right to judge them for it. Their marriage falling apart is not just between them, because it affects OP too. Op talks childish and aggressive. But still, I agree with her, maybe that's wrong, but sometimes the majority is not right. Not the asshole. In talk.